solving equations with variables on both sides. Yesterday we worked with uh, two-step equations. Um, that's having the variable, like in this situation, um, the variable and the um, constant on one side and, and trying to get rid of both of those so you can get x by itself. Now today you are again um, trying to uh, as you can see, you have two variables involved in this in equation, and you're just combining like terms. And you do it in the exact same way. So looking at this, step one is combine variables using inverse operations. It's the exact same way as you would with numbers as you do with variables. So as you look at this, you can see that that is going to be a positive x, and you need to then make it a negative x. This is the same thing as 1x. Okay, it's the exact same thing. We just don't usually write it. So negative x from both sides. So adding a negative x on this side, draw your line. And then you would um, go ahead and solve that, which an x plus a negative x is 0, is nothing. So that's how we get 8 by itself. On this side, it's like 3x uh, plus a negative x. Okay, which is kind of like 3 plus a negative 1, which is going to give me a positive 2, and then bring the x with it. Next one, it says combine whole numbers using inverse operations. So we don't have any whole numbers in this case. They're all left alone. So if that was the case, we'd combine those whole numbers as well, and then solve the equation like normal, and that is what we're doing here. Okay. And so now that this is like the two-step equation, um, what we did yesterday, so now we're going to simply um, divide by 2 to get rid of the 2 with the x to make that a 1. So 2 divided by 2 on that side is x, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay, so the only difference that you're doing here is you're trying to get x all on one side and numbers by themselves on the other side, just like we did right here. Okay, so let's try a few. Um, go ahead, I'm going to let you do letter A. So go ahead and hit pause, and then we'll go from there. All right, and now once again, you are trying to get the variables on one side and the numbers by themselves on the other. So we've got this x over here on this side. We're going to try to get this 5x to go over here. Okay, so that we can get this number by itself. So if this is a um, positive 5x, we're going to add a negative 5x to both sides. Draw your line. And this is going to equal 0. Bring down the 4. And then 7 plus a negative 5 is going to be 2. And bring the x down. So now we have 2x equals 4. And now this is a simple problem that we've been doing here for quite some time. We've got to get rid of the number with the variable. So we're going to divide by 2 and divide this side by 2. That gives me 1 times x, which is x, equals a 4 divided by 2 is 2. And again, if you need to, plug it back in up here. We'd plug 2 into both of the x's. So four, uh, 7 times 2 is 14. And then we have 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4. And yes, 10 plus 4 equals 14. It's always a possible, a great way of checking your answers. I'm going to let you go ahead and solve this. So go ahead and do that. Now you can see we have numbers and variables on both sides. So let's see what you can do with this. Go ahead and hit pause. Now for this, we can do whichever one we want. We can start either side. We just have to know that once we start on one side, um, we got to get variables on one side, numbers on the other, and numbers can be on this side and variables on the right side, or vice versa. It doesn't matter. We just have to pick and choose which way we want to go with it. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and start with the number to get rid of the number first. Okay, so this is subtracting 2, so we're going to add 2 to both sides. I'm going to do that first, so then I get 3x equals x plus 
4 plus 2 is 6. Now, what I need to do is get rid of the x. So I'm going to subtract x from both, whoops, subtract x, not 8, a negative x or subtract x, which however you want to look at it means the same thing. And we get 6 equals a 3x plus a negative x is going to give me, or minus x, whichever way, is 2x. Now I'm going to solve this by dividing both sides by 2 to get rid of the number with the variable. And we get x equals 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, so again, going back through this, uh, doing some double checking, starting with getting rid of the numbers first. Okay, and you do have to start with the numbers first, getting rid of those. Um, so we're going to subtract 2, we're going to add 2 to both sides, and again, we got 6, bring down the x, now do your x's. Okay, always start with getting rid of the numbers first, then worry about your variables last. Okay. So let's go ahead and try the next one. So go ahead and do that. All right, let's try this. We're going to start with the 8, and we're going to subtract 8 from both sides, or a negative 8 to both sides. And we get 7y equals 4y, and then a negative 10 plus a negative 8 is going to give me a negative 8. Okay, a negative 18. Again, that's why we want to a lot of times use our variables, um, adding a negative to both sides. Like signs, you add, sign stays the same. Okay, so it is subtracting 18. Now we're going to get rid of the y. So it's going to be a negative 4y uh, and negative 4y. Then we end up getting a negative 18 on this side equals, and this would be um, a, ne a positive 3y. Okay, and some of you are looking at this saying, well, that's a subtracting 18. Remember, you can always change it to addition opposite of the second number. Okay, That's how we're getting that as a negative 18. So always keep that in mind as you do these. And I know that's what sometimes uh, messes students up. So you got to be real careful with that and get that train of thought down that uh, subtracting 18 is the same as a negative 18. So now we're going to get rid of this and we get a positive 3 to both sides. And y equals, well, remember what we have. We're dividing, so we're going to get 6. Unlike signs or different signs will be negative. Okay, when we divide, same signs are positive. So y equals negative 6. Let's try the next one. Go ahead and hit pause and try this. All right, so we're going to, again, start with the numbers to get them on one side. So we're going to uh, add a negative 15 to both sides. And we get 5p equals p, and then this is um, in two negatives, and so we're going to add, and we're going to get a negative, and then this would be 14, carry the 1, so a total of 64, and now we are going to get rid of the, the p, we got to get that over to the left side, so it's a negative p, negative p, on that side, we get negative 64 equals, and then 5 plus a negative 1 is going to be positive 4p, and divide now both sides by 4, and we get p equals, and then 64 divided by 4 is going to give me, and some of you need to, uh, if you don't have a cal whoops, have a calculator, it goes into a 1. Subtract, we get 2, bring down the 4, and you get 6 to be a negative 16. Okay? Again, different signs are going to be negative when you divide. All right? Um, again, basic algebra skills here. This is exactly what we're 
those of you that are going on to the algebraic uh, class next year, this is the same stuff that you will be doing there as well. It's following those same basic guidelines that we've been working with, even with just one-step equations, um, following those rules, keeping the equation balanced, doing the inverse to both sides, and uh, that works you all the way through it to where you get variables on one side, numbers on the other. Once you get that, you're able to divide both sides by that number with the variable to get your answer. Okay. Probably our biggest issue is truly understanding, going back to our integer rules and making certain that we understand those really well. Okay. Um, have a great day, and we'll work on this again tomorrow.